So here again we are with uh, Mr. Marian. And Mr. Marian, what is this, what you are going to explain us? Okay, I'm going to show you a simple self-made in two moves. What's about self-made? Uh, it's uh, also fight between two sides because white is trying to pursue black to give mate. Black doesn't want to give mate. And this is very old type of chess problems. In fact, from middle centuries, some uh, old examples exist even 13th century. Uh, there is a theory, uh, Yuri Averbach uh, had his theory of how self-made arose in some uh, 10th, 11th century chess problems were used for betting and uh, there were different kinds of positions uh, to offered for, for betting. For instance, uh, give mate in exactly two moves. And there was tricky try. If white uh, makes wrong move, black makes him give mate faster than needed. And so this ruins the whole puzzle. And old grandmaster Yuri Averbeck had his theory that this is how self-made really uh, began and how it started. What's interesting about self-made is that it can use very uh, rich strategy of uh, elements like pinning, unpinnings, and uh, dynamic uh, uh, play. Here we should make uh, black give mate. Of course, we would like black simply to come here and to mate but black doesn't want so we have somehow to make him play this and also we don't know what to do with this knight because this knight black if we keep playing something like okay something like nothing black would go with this jump with this knight now this square will not be covered anymore and there is a low chance for black to give mate to white so no tempo move works. We have to have some idea what to do with this position. First of all, we should think what can we do after such move. Now square f2 is not controlled, but now there is theoretical possibility, very nice, for white to give check to unpin black knight and black is obliged to give this surprising mate. Now, this knight controls f1 and e2, and this knight on d3 controls f2, and queen pins and controls d2. So, this is half of our road to solution. What? still left is yes, to see is how to deal with this move and we need good idea so the only way to deal with this knight f2 and to make black still give me it is to play here bishop g3 anyway this bishop doesn't do anything on d6 so it's good to use it now, if black plays this, this is immediate mate. This knight is pinned. Black has only two moves. This one we have seen. We, uh, this one we, we saw what will happen after knight g3, queen d3. Check and knight d3. And what about the other possibility? After knight f2, now white simply takes this knight with bishop, self blocks f2, and black has no other moves but to give this mate. What have I done with this queen? I moved it from somewhere, probably. Yes, it was somewhere here, I guess. Okay. So, that's the whole solution. First move and two variations. After this, queen d3 check. A nice pin mate. And after this, bishop takes and queen d1 mate. That's oh. about all about self mates. They could be very complicated. This one is 
like nice and simple example composed by Miroslav Havel, uh, Czechian composer of Bohemian style. He liked very much nice mating positions. And here you can see two such beautiful mating positions. This is one with pin rook and another one with pin knight controlling the square d1 and main. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I believe this is not so difficult and chess players could get used to this kind of fight. Yeah. Only the goal is different. You have to make him to give you mate. That's, that's the only difference. So it's okay. similar to chess rules and chess logic. Thank you, sir. Thank you.